friends so in today's video i'm going to show you all the websites that i use as a student every single day and that have helped me feel a little bit more organized and effective and productive um and also how i use them right now i'm doing online classes as i'm sure most of you are um so finding the right websites to organize myself was very you know essential considering that i spend like eight hours every single day sitting on my desk staring at my computer so these are websites that i use for that um there are only three websites because i like my organization systems to be simple and effective but also you know if i can add a little bit of aestheticness there i'll welcome it <laughs> so yeah i know maybe three websites seems like too little but i promise it's just the right amount of websites so if you oh my god so if you've watched all of my previous videos, you'll know that I've been a little bit obsessed with Notion lately for like the past few months and also like the past year or something. Notion is a place where I organize my whole life, including my school life. So in this video, I'm just going to focus on my school section of Notion. Um, but if you want to check out like my whole Notion setup, make sure you check out my video. And I also share my template there if you like my template. But yeah, so in my school section of Notion is where I as I said, do everything for school. I take my notes there. I keep track of my assignments there. So I have like a master to do list kind of thing. And then I also keep track of my grades. And I even have like a section for keeping track of my post-secondary options. So this is like the main center of my organization system kind of thing. So this is what it looks like. Um, as you can tell, it has different sections. Um, it is aesthetic because it you know, it has to be aesthetic so that I can enjoy it and actually like want to use it. Um, so it looks cute, but it's also not too full that it's like too overwhelming for me to use every day. So that's great. When I open Notion, this is like the first page I use, like I check every day when I like turn on my computer and stuff. So this is where I spend most of my time in Notion. Now let's talk about my Google Calendar. So I know that seems very basic because you know, everyone uses Google Calendar, but I'll still talk about it. <laughs> so in Google Calendar, I keep track of all my due dates and anything that has a date really. I, like I also use it for personal events and my YouTube stuff and all of that. Um, but to differentiate between the different sections of my life, I have created like different calendars with different colors um, so that it looks cute, but also it's easy to differentiate differentiate between my different tasks. So how you customize the colors to make it look cute is you basically create a new calendar. So you create a new calendar and then you pick a color. You can, it has like a bunch of different options or you can create your own color, which is what I did because I prefer to go with more like pastels, colors kind of thing. But yeah, I just wanted I just wanted to make it look cute because that's very important for me. I also use Google Calendar for time blocking. So basically how, what I do is write my to-do lists like for personal stuff on my bullet journal and then my school stuff, like my school to-do list on Notion. And then if I have a lot of things to do, or even if I have little things to do, I like to time block all the stuff and kind of combine them in Google Calendar. So I say like, oh, eight to nine, I will do this. And 10 to 11, I will work on this assignment and stuff like that so that it's a little bit more organized because I am an organization freak and I do like to organize everything. <laughs> so those are the two main ways that I use Google Calendar. Now let's talk about identity. So first I wanted to say thank you to identity for sponsoring this video, which is my first sponsor video, which is pretty exciting. Um, so identity basically allows you to organize and simplify everything you do on the internet. So let me show you how it works. So basically you have like your main page and it's like all the tiles that you have saved here. So all the websites that you want to like you use constantly and stuff. I have created a different section for all the websites that I use for school. So I have my school email, my school website, Google Calendar, Notion, etc. So when I turn on my computer, I just go to identity and then go to my school section and then I, you know, I just open all the pages that I need because sometimes I need them all, sometimes I don't. I also have other sections like entertainment and social media so I can easily access all the websites that I use on the daily or also the websites that I don't use on the daily but you know, I still use sometimes. It allows you to create tags and categories so that your space is even more organized. I have it organized, as I said, in different categories. So school, social media, entertainment, but you can also add like an extra word so that it 
kind of like creating a subcategory within your category. Um, so you can just search for the word and then it will pop up like all the tiles that have that word. So for example, my final assignment for my class is due in like four days, maybe five. I need to start working on it. <laughs> so when I do start working on it, um, what I'm going to do is use identity to save like my research and stuff and all the websites that I use for it. Um, so what I'm going to do is put them all in the school category and then add like an extra word saying like oh final assignment or research or whatever so that when I do like when I work on my final assignment I need I have like all the websites that I need for it accessible and just you know right there. Identity also saves your passwords and like your usernames and like your credentials for all the websites that you use if they need like a an account or something um so if you put your password there um, I then it will save it so that when you click on the tile and you open the website, it will just copy your password automatically. So you can just paste it when you open the website and it makes your login experience a little bit easier. Also, Identity has like a note section on the side. So you can use that for to-do list or keeping track of your due dates. And it also allows you to like link websites within the note. So I use this for like small school tasks. So my Notion master to list, I use it for my assignments and all of that. And identity, I keep track of like the little tasks like sending an email or whatever. But yeah, that's basically it for the three websites I use. I know that three websites are not a lot and like Google Calendar and Notion are pretty popular. But I am a firm believer that your organization system doesn't need to be super complicated for it to be effective. Um, and especially like I have a small brain, so the website is like just the right amount. If I had any more, I would probably like get overwhelmed with stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, yeah, stay safe, take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.